black hole, you sap me. You are this room that keeps me. This room that does not let me leave. So I must stay, to paint, or else nothing. The drone of nothing silence is a boring and burrowing noise that must be covered over by a deafening blast of equal violence. So I come to you now, to disrupt your pull. I have tired from the long night of self-rambling, unkempt reflections calling unworthy attentions to grime and bleach and septic notions, gnawing at my palpitating heart. Might a peace find me? Or yet, what further tension of my mind may meet me now? And now here I go on, to quell stillness and find ease in small death for a small hour. What do I wish to make upon this canvas? A mirror window? A version of myself? Does it lie? I have only seen my face depicted and so I do not know my face truly. Does it then, the act of painting, provide true understanding? I lend my love to you, crimp of my moral brush as you carve out my life more than I would otherwise know. Will you tell me something I need to know? Will it matter? Do you expect peace in the wake of achieved aesthetic worthiness? Or will I only see my disdain in gross detail? I am a misshapen alchemist, looking for gilded pleasures and poisonous lead. Your harrowed eyes see me dreadfully. I find misery in this approach, in which I am, you are, perceived as sullen. This damning self-portrait prophesies as the undying deathly fear in me, that which reminds me of my conscious lack of living, lack of ability, endless lack.
These frequent night terrors keep me from my rest and awaken me to the bleakest corners of my shriveling mind. Oh, 